somewhere, like a pillow on a bed, a pregnant bank swelled up to rest the violet's reclining head, sat we two, one another's best. Our hands were firmly cemented with a fast balm which thence did spring. Our eye beams twisted and did thread our eyes upon one double string. So to intergraft our hands as yet was all the means to make us one, and pictures in our eyes to get was all our propagation. As twixt two equal armies, fate suspends uncertain victory. Our souls, which to advance their state, were gone out, hung twixt her and me. And whilst our souls negotiate there, we, like sepulchral statues, lay. All day the same our postures were, and we said nothing all the day. If any, so by love refined, that he soul's language understood, and by good love were grown all mind within convenient distance stood, he, though he knew not which soul spake, because both meant both spake the same, might thence a new concoction take, and part far purer than he came. This ecstasy doth unperplex, we said, and tell us what we love. We see by this it was not sex, we see we saw not what did move. But as all souls contain mixtures of things, we know not what, love, these mixed souls, doth mix again, and makes both one, each this and that. A single violet transplant, the strength, the color, and the size, all, which before was poor and scant, redoubles still and multiplies. When love with one another so interanimates two souls, that abler soul which thence doth flow defects of loneliness controls. We who are this new soul, know of what we are composed and made. For the atomies of which we grow are souls which no change can invade. But oh, alas, so long, so far, our bodies, why do we forbear? They are ours, though they're not we. We are the intelligences, they the spheres. We owe them thanks, because they thus did us to us at first convey, yielded their forces, sense to us, nor are dross to us, but alley. On man heaven's influence works not so, but that it first imprints the air. So soul into soul may flow, though it to body first repair. As our blood labors to beget spirits, as like souls as it can, because such fingers need to knit such subtle knots that make us man, so must pure lovers' souls descend to affections, and to faculties, that sense may reach and apprehend, else a great prince in prison lies. To our bodies turn we then, that so on love revealed men may look. Love's mysteries and souls do grow, but yet the body is his book. And if some lover such as we have heard this dialogue of one. Let him still mark us. He shall see small change when we're two bodies gone. <laughs>